Hello, it's been a while since I've done a video. Um, been a bit busy with one or two other things, uh, commissions and, and stuff, but I thought I'd um, have a crack again this afternoon. Um, and this this photograph is of a farmyard that I, we walked at, we actually walked through here during the lockdown, um, glorious weather, cracking barn um, here. But more interesting was this lovely outbuilding there with, with bricks and stone and roofs and timber and the farmhouse just um, and this ramshackle building there. So I'm going to draw this um, and this first bit is going to be, um, you won't be able to tell because I'm behind the camera, but I'm I'm not going to uh, look at the, the page that I'm going to draw on much at all. Um, I'm going to draw this um, and I'm using a different pen. I'm using, a, I'm trying out these Winsor & Newton um, fine line markers uh, recommended by Simone Ridyard and this is a 0.1. Um, and let's go back to this. The, the thing I try and teach in all my workshops and classes is that even though you're just looking at, um, you might be outside looking at a scene or working from a photograph like this, you do not have to draw everything that's in there. You can edit things out. You focus in on the stuff that you like doing. For instance, I wouldn't draw that car there. Um, and I, I'm, I'm actually going to focus on this this section there. Um, and I'm going to try and draw all this swiftly without any preamble. Um, and I'm just, as I say, you can't really see, I'm, I'm not really looking. Um, at the sketchbook page while I'm doing this. Um, I might refer back. Let's have a look. So that comes down about there. That's the edge of that brick pillar. The reason I like this, there's another brick pillar there. Um, and about there, the brick pillars are about there. And what I like to do, because if, if I go along just making all these vertical lines here, I'm looking at the sketchbook now, um, I'll get lost. So what I'll do is make a quick shorthand note here that between that's the that's the edge of the brick pillar there. And that bit is going to be in shade. So therefore, this one is going to be the edge of that brick pillar. There's actually... Um, a wooden prop there so I'll put some lines in there and there's a bit more of a let's put another line in under there a bit more of a um, a space this one so I'll just put some just to remind myself where I am in the drawing when I go back um, when I get to the watercolor stage I mean there's some lovely lovely darks on this there you go and that's the edge of the there's some stonework there i'll just put some guidelines in to remind myself right and the roof comes along here and then there's this lovely tank um lovely rusty old metal kind of water tank i think and the wall comes around there grass comes up there and along there so the this water tank must be resting on some kind of um, structure made from old stone the farm itself is um, near Towton in Tadcaster and a lot of this blonde stone is actually come from, I think it's called Tadcaster limestone because it's it's quarried very locally, or it was quarried. Right, so let's go back to there. Just reinforce that and that and that. And then there you go, there's some darks there. Um, Bit more reference just so I know when I come to add the colour 
again as with all my uh, all my drawings it's not just a simple one or two stage um, operation these are the trees I'll put the basic pen lines in use those as a framework and it, they're fairly detailed right there's now then this is a bit off kilter but uh, let's put this it looks like an old hen hut there and again rookie error I've kind of started too far over to the right um, so I can't get all of this in um, but it doesn't really matter too much it's not it, it's um, it's a sketch in a sketchbook or rather it's not a sketch you see it I'm gonna get on my high horse here I'm gonna get on my soapbox if I can while I just concentrate on putting these lines in I've, I've seen lots of stuff on Instagram Instagram's fantastic it's exposed me to artists and lots of other stuff um, and it's been fantastic over lockdown you can you can actually you can browse art from all over the world and you can watch demos and stuff. it's been it's been fantastic but the one thing that really irks me it, it, it grabs me is this age-old so I'm just going to strengthen these lines this age-old thing about um, what's a sketch and what's a drawing now for me a sketch is something that's well if, if you look sketch up in the dictionary it tells you it's a rough preparatory drawing done often at speed um, in preparation for a later finished work or an exploratory let's just put these stone things in here just to remind myself and there's a thing there um so yeah so a sketch you know five ten minutes so already this this i don't think this is a sketch it's a drawing um and you see it really bugs me when you see people commenting great sketch and it's obvious to me that the the, the the piece of work that they're commenting on must have taken many many hours to render and and add color to so it's about the furthest thing from a sketch i'm going to put the house in because i think yeah it's the furthest thing from a sketch that's why I, there's a bit of a window up in there so let's put this in just peeking through this will all make a bit more sense once I get to the to the color stage um, and you see that how long has that taken me that's taken about five or six minutes um, and what I will do is add some I quite like this pen actually by the way it's the first time I've used it it's uh, it's got a lovely quality of line um, I've just actually thought I'm using it here and I'm about to I will put some um, some colour on but I've not actually tested how waterproof this ink is I suppose I should have done that before oh well we'll find out together won't we when I uh, when I do the when I come to add the colour on the next stage I'll film that separately um, what I will do is is add some of these lines again I'm not counting tiles because I'm not preparing a an artist's impression for a new building development it's it's a drawing it's it could be 
it could be a sketch but I am um, yeah I'm going to refer to that as a drawing so look there we go let's let's just finish these these off this is that old ramshackle building and if you look um, the perspective on those actually follows the perspective of that roof line but as it gets nearer the bottom um, it's actually yeah so again that's an, that's another way of um, making your drawing look a bit more believable that, that the perspective wherever it is I suspect this must be an old hen hut I'll put another one in there because I quite like those and there's some green there quite neatly do that so there you go there's um there, there's the first stage in the in the in this pen and ink drawing demonstration um there's something there it looks like a a box so i'll put that in and that's a circular thing and i'll put a bit more detail in there just so i can and i'll remind myself that that's the this side of the brickwork, um, and so is that. Uh, this will make a lot more sense when it's when I add colour to it, and where the, the places where I'm indicating um, shadow with with cross hatching now with pen, um, I will put some paint on. Here, I think there must be all kinds of stuff piled up in there. So that one I will actually completely black in, just so I remember where I am. And then of course, let me do this now. Even though I've said it'll make a lot more sense with colour on, in some ways, it would be good if it actually if it could stand alone as a as a pen and ink drawing. So let's put some shadow in there on the sides of the pillars. But pen wash will be going under this, um, as will some some colour on there. So there you go, that's stage one of this drawing um, of a farm and a barn near Towton, near Tadcaster, the famous Battle of Towton on Palm Sunday in 14, whenever it was. I'm ashamed I don't know the date, but I will find it for the colour stage. Uh, the bloodiest battle. Um, it's a lovely walk. But there you go. My first drawing complete with my new Winsor & Newton fine liner coming a set. Uh, I'm very, very, um, yeah, I'm quite pleased with those. So I'll probably use the heavier ones to go around and put some emphasis lines on. Um, I just realised, I said my drawing isn't simply a two-stage thing with line and then wash. It's line, then wash, some more line, and then a bit more wash. So it's a three or four it's a drawing sandwich if you like so um yeah let's um get this sorted and we'll be back with part two which is the color bit bye for now <laughs>